he works for I honestly do not know how to explain this book and Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my five star romance novels. These are books that I've read recently. Let's get started because I am super excited to share my favorite romance books with you. Okay, so the first book is Better Than the Movies and I've already mentioned this is my favorite book of the year so far. I loved everything about this book and I think it kind of shocked me that this is my favorite book because it is a YA novel. This book is about a young girl. Her mother passed away and they had this very special bond. They kind of bond over like old movies and they're like both very hopeless romantic type of people. She's like an old soul kind of and she's very into like perfect like relationship and the meet cute and all that stuff. She's like really into that kind of stuff. What makes this book so perfect is the main male character. His name is Wes. He is perfect. He's perfect. I don't think I've ever been more in love with a male character in my entire life. Liz, the main female character, and Wes, and they are kind of like neighbors and they hate each other. So like they have been enemies ever since they have known each other and they're always fighting and he's always like making fun of her and he's always trying to push her buttons basically. Liz having a crush on this guy and he's like this very popular guy and he's best friends with Wes and she makes this deal with Wes to kind of hang out with him so that this guy that she likes kind of noticed her and so they go on like these little fake makeup dates and stuff like that so that this guy that she likes can think that Wes has good taste and like if Wes is interested in her then any guy would be interested in her and so that works out for her but then she slowly falls for Wes while hanging out and noticing all the cute things that he does for her and it's just it's just so cute I think every hopeless romantic should read this book because it is just beautiful and there is a short story of Wes's point of view called better than the prom and you can find it on Lynn Painter's website that was the most beautiful thing I've ever read in my entire life, his point of view. It's a cute little short story. I highly recommend reading this one first and then reading that one because it kind of continues from this book. And she's a Taylor Swift fan, so what is not to like? Okay, so the next book is Love and Other Words and another one of my favorite author, I love Christina Lauren. They are amazing writers. So this is about a girl. Her dad kind of buys a beach house in this area or like yeah, like a like a summer home kind of and every summer they would go to this beach house to kind of just get away from reality. And she meets this guy. He's reading on the floor and she kind of instantly clicks with him. Now I'm talking they were like I want to say maybe 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 like 10 or 12 years old they weren't teenagers yet she basically meets him and every summer they would hang out they would get very close and they kind of become very close best friends they talk about everything together that's just part of it the other part of this book is something tragic happens 11 years ago and then they haven't spoken to each other in over a decade and she finally runs into him he immediately recognizes her and he he wants to know what happened, why did she leave 11 years ago, and just kind of want to be her friend again. The book kind of goes back and forth with their relationship, so they talk about them as kids growing up and teenager in college, and then it talks about present day and how they're kind of dealing with what happened so many years ago. I loved it. It was so so cute. It was sad. I cried. Childhood best friends to lovers. I cannot recommend this book enough. Go read it. The next book I have for you is Heart Bones by Colleen Hoover. This is my favorite book by her. This is her best book yet. So far, all the books I've read from her, this is the greatest book ever. I love this book. I cried and it was just so beautiful. This book is about a girl. Her name is Bea and she is technically homeless okay she comes home one day and she finds her mom 
dead on the couch and she kind of has no one and nowhere to go she comes from a life of poverty her dad is somewhat wealthy and she does not have the greatest relationship with him but he does want to be in her life and he tries to but she kind of just neglects him so when all of that happens she literally has nowhere to go no one else but him so she kind of reaches out to him and pretty much doesn't tell him that her mom passed away she just kind of like i just want to visit for the summer she's this very very smart girl like she wants to go to college and really pursue a life and better her life which is i just love her so much and i love her motivation she doesn't let people feel sorry for her like she just wants to be left alone basically she gets to her dad's house and she kind of meets this guy the next door neighbor they're living in like a beach house for the summer and so there's neighbors and she meets this guy and he's this very wealthy guy and she just knows that there is just no chance that anything could ever happen between them but he kind of like sees something in her and he wants to get to know her and he kind of just like bonds with her and things like that did not expect this plot twist wouldn't think that a, a book like this would have such a plot twist but it does and everything works out eventually she spends the entire summer with him and they kind of get to know each other and she doesn't want to leave him because they have such an incredible bond and he understands her and she understands him and like second guessing herself whether if she wants to go to college and leave him behind and i think that's where like the plot twist kind of comes in and yeah i'm so happy with this book though i'm so happy with the ending and just just like thinking about it makes me want to cry but if i have to recommend a colleen hoover book to anyone to read it will be this book because it is just it is so beautiful the next book is the american roommate experience and that's what i was trying to avoid <laughs> i I'm obsessed with this book. If you don't know this book already, you you need to read it. This is the second book of the Spanish Love Deception, but this is about Lena's best friend Rosie and Lena's cousin Lucas. I made a TikTok and it kind of went viral on Instagram about Lucas being so much better than Aaron and everyone's just like, I do not believe you. Did not expect this book to be so good because the Spanish of Deception was very, very slow. I mean, it is slow burn. This is also a slow burn, but this was like 10 times better than the Spanish of Deception. And I'm telling you, you are going to fall in love with these characters. This book is about Rosie. She's a writer and she's kind of in a writer's block. Quit her day job and cannot afford her apartment so she's crashing at Lena's and she completely forgot that Lucas will be staying at Lena's apartment so now they're kind of like roommates. So this book is roommate, it is slightly fake dating, there's a masquerade ball, it is amazing. A little bit about this book is that Rosie needs ideas for her book that she's writing and Lucas offers to give her some ideas. So her plan was to go on a bunch of dates with like random people and kind of use those experience as ideas for her book the idea that she had he kind of immediately shuts it down and he was like why would you need to go on dates with random people when you can just do it with me he plans like incredible dates for her he has set my standards so high it's not even funny you need to go read this book because it will raise the bar so high for you and you are going to thank me and yes Lucas is 10 times better than Aaron and Aaron used to be my favorite book boyfriend, but I'm sorry He's amazing Okay, so the next book is One True Loves by Taylor Reed and I originally gave this book a four star but I changed it because after I like processed the book and really thought about how the ending really worked out I decided to give it a five star because 
I think it deserves a five star, honestly. I just love how the author did this book. I love the writing. I mean, I love Taylor Reed's writing. She's amazing. I just love the characters in this book and I'm happy with how they all ended up and how things ended. And she meets this guy that she's had a crush on since high school and they get married in their 20s. They've been high school sweethearts. They've just been so in love. On their one year anniversary, her husband goes out on this business trip. She gets this call saying that he is lost and they can't find his body. So he's just presumed dead. So he died on their first anniversary and it is the most tragic thing that could ever happen. Emma, the main character, decides that she seriously need to start living again and get her life back on track. She moves back to her hometown where she met her dead husband and she runs into this guy that used to work at her parents bookstore when they were in high school and he's always had a crush on her but she didn't like him like that. They run into each other and they start talking and they kind of become friends. You know, he finally opens up and kind of tells her that he's always had a crush on her and always liked her and things like that. And they kind of start dating. So now she's engaged to him. She gets a random phone call one day from her dead husband. The book kind of goes back and forth on how they met and basically present day which is her dealing with this and dealing with her current fiance who is not happy but he also wants to be there for her. She is in love with two guys and she didn't think it was ever possible and now she has to choose and it is just the most devastating thing I've ever read but I really really loved how the ending turned out. I thought it was going to turn out a different way. Actually, I think the ending was super fitting and super perfect and I'm happy. I'm happy with it and this was such a beautiful book but I do have to warn you, it is very sad. I did cry. I think it was, it was sad from like the first page towards the end. It was just very depressing but it was well thought out, well planned, well written and I honestly highly recommend it. This next book was kind of a shocker to me, but I actually gave an Emily Henry book a five star. I'm not the greatest fan of Emily Henry. She writes very slow type of books. I feel like I cannot get into her books. Maybe it's just to be, I, I, I don't know. I honestly loved Book Lovers. It took me a while to get into it. It's supposed to be rivals and I don't really see the rival part in this book. They're kind of working together. Felt like it was a bit misleading. Nora and her sister decides it's time to take a break from life so they go to this small town and she runs into Charlie who she kind of hates. They did not have best first impression and she just kind of assumes that he hates her and so she kind of has this mentality that oh he doesn't like me, well I guess I don't have to be nice to him. They run into each other in this small town and she finds out that he grew up in this small town. He kind of like shows her around and like kind of befriends her and they kind of talk about books and they kind of bond over their love over books. He kind of starts to learn more about Charlie, he kind of starts to learn more about her and they kind of just realize that what happened the first time they met was like a total misunderstanding. It was kind of funny, it was entertaining it was interesting yeah i love nora the main character she is hilarious and anyone who reads a lot of books i immediately love them okay the next book is another christina lauren book and this is the soulmate equation and i've talked about this book so many times this book is single mom slash fake dating grumpy ex sunshine he's a creator of this dating app and character and her best friend volunteers to be subjects and Basically, it's like a DNA dating app, so they have to do like uh, spit samples and things like that and they match with someone based on like their application and their DNA. She gets matched with the guy who created the app and he is just like this grumpy man and he does not want to deal with her. They decided to pay her to help his app by going public with their match. They have to pretend that they're dating after they matched 
and he kind of bonds with her. Yeah, there's a mini plot twist in this book. I loved it and I love the ending and I love that it's Grumpy X Sunshine. Next book is The Kiss Quotient and this is such a sweet little story. This is like Pretty Woman Reverse. But basically it's about this girl. She's like filthy rich, but she has like no relationship experience and nothing like that. So she definitely wants to get out into the dating world. She hires an escort. She hires him to basically teach her how to be good in a relationship. He agrees because he does not come from a family that has a lot and he needs the money. She decides to pay him to help her. They kind of go on fake dates starts falling for him and she doesn't really want anyone else but him and he feels like he's not good enough and things like that and he's just like talking himself down personally love this book it was very funny and very sweet and i love stella so far that is all of the five star romance books that i am absolutely obsessed with and i highly would recommend them i really do hope you guys enjoyed this video and my recommendations if you did don't forget to like and subscribe yeah that is all and i'll see you guys soon bye